Welcome to Venice, Italy. This place is a goddamn maze. So I'm in Venice, Italy right now. Beautiful weather, a lot of people coming out. And it's almost like COVID hasn't really been a thing, but a lot of people have been really responsible and wearing a mask for the most part, which is good. I would probably say that this is probably one of the coolest areas to be in. And there are people from all around the world here enjoying it. Staying right there. What's up, brother? So I wanted to give you a quick tour of the place that I'm staying at right now. I'm staying at right now. The following is an MTV Cribs special presentation. Right in a really prominent area of Venice, Italy. Have the place all to myself. Pretty inexpensive too, I was actually quite surprised. Bathroom, big shower, living room with another like little futon, big windows, a really nice spacious kitchen with a washing machine. And here is the wrist. Before I was a bit skeptical because I heard about all of the bad publicity of Venice, mainly that the people here were rude. See, I'm a military guy, so it's hard for me to determine or really tell if someone is rude. So far, I've been having a great time. Whenever I would go inside of a restaurant, they greet me. They're very respectful. They're very humble. And they make sure I have everything I need. Now, in terms of there being a lot of restaurants here are a lot of pasta, a lot of pizza. So what that means is all of these restaurants are constantly having to compete with each other to get customers. So because of that, you're getting really good deals and you're getting amazing food here. So you're getting a great deal. There's a ton of different shops. There's a ton of different boutiques. And it's just, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. So this is the point that we're at right now.
so at that point I just cross the bridge and we're going to another area this narrow corridor here where a lot of people squeeze through to walk to the other part So the cool part too is there's people from all around the world here. You hear different languages. This is definitely a spot to come to if you enjoy great food. If you enjoy meeting different people. Just seeing the sights. So this is where I'm standing right now, oh shit. This is where I'm standing right now and right outside when I open this door is restaurants. People are literally sitting right outside of the door. It's really cool. So let's check it out. So I'm sitting here in Venice right now just looking at the people walking past and nothing like people watching but I'm the only one in this restaurant here and I can't translate for nothing so how much does it cost? Nothing. I'll try it again. How much does it cost? Nothing. So this is the grief that this device has been giving me. Some of the other restaurants are a little more packed, some aren't, it just depends. I chose this one because this one wasn't as busy, but I think I'm going to probably continue to, to explore throughout the night. I mean, it's chaotic over here. It's kind of like a mix of Vegas and New York. <laughs> Hello. Do you have a uh, amaretto? Eh? Amaretto? Amaretto? Yep. Sí. Yep. So I'm walking around right now and I just got that 
Apple fix, and it's disgusting. I wouldn't even recommend this for my enemies. But I'm drinking it because the guy charged me five euro for this little ass drink. So this area appears to be a lot more residential than the other side of Venice. Um, I was always curious about this side. I never explored this side yet. I don't know what side this is, but there still are a lot of people around here. But So it's really interesting. So I just did another PCR antigen test. This one was a lot different than the other ones I normally get. Usually they just swab the nose or kind of go deep in the nose. But with this, it was a lot different. They swabbed the back of my throat, which was insanely unpleasant. Then with the same like little Q-tip device, they shoved it in my nose, in the back of my nose and both nostrils. That was really, really unpleasant uh and i had to double down and ask like is that common because literally everywhere i've been to to germany to the uk all of these other places this was the only time where they swabbed my mouth and they used the same q-tip so i'm on the other side of the island now and i'm not gonna lie if pokemon go was still a thing right now this place would be swarming with probably the world's most rarest Pokemon. I'm talking about Dragon Knight, Dragon Air, Mew, Mewtwo, probably not Mewtwo or Mew because they're like insanely rare. This place would be swarming with the coolest, most powerful Pokemon. And I think I remember when Pokemon Go first came out, People were literally traveling to other countries where certain types of Pokemon were known to spawn, which was really interesting. Oh, you know what else would be interesting? Imagine if the Pokemon were NFTs. Now that would be cool. One of the interesting things I noticed about this area is like, you will run into some of the most beautiful women but then they would pull out cigarettes and start smoking. It's like a norm over here. It's really interesting and unfortunate. So that's a big part of the culture over here too, is a lot of smoking. Um, I actually just had to get up. I was sitting outside of a cafe uh, drinking fresh orange juice and a really pretty woman was smoking and all of her cigarette smoke was just blowing right at me. I'm like, damn, really? But that's a norm here. I mean, the struggle is real. That's why those boat taxis could be beneficial. For me being here, I would probably say one of the most healthy balances would probably be uh, eating more salad than pasta because it's easy to get carried away with pasta, ravioli, lasagna, pizza got to be really careful here i mean just a ton of carbs but for the most part it's pretty easy to find places that serve salad so i'm at this restaurant now it looks like they have some interesting looking pancakes sweet pancakes um surprisingly it's not that easy to find a good juicery there are juiceries and like smoothie places around but much of the material that they serve is like, 
ice cream smoothies and things like that, which is fine, but that's not really what I'm going for. So I'm going to try that out. I don't know what the hell that is, but that looks really good too. I want like a healthy green smoothie or like, you know, a smoothie that's made with all natural fruits and veggies. So this is the pancakes here. Whipped cream and all of this other fattening stuff that a lot of tourists, I mean, quite frankly, often go for. It. Partially through it, not bad, not bad. A little dry, but kind of tastes like those Kodak cakes. When you walk around, I mean, there's just people for days sipping on that stuff. Finished it up. Um, something else that's really cool, too, is there's a lot of cafes out here. So it's easy to find a really good cafe and you can relax. People watch if you're into that sort of stuff. And it's really interesting and fascinating just to see the type of people that are walking past, just looking at them and kind of wondering what their story is and what brought them to Venice. Wow, now that is a simp man. His girlfriend is just walking and he's lugging all of that shit. That's wrong. He was struggling up the stairs too, up and down the stairs, and she just watched him, didn't even offer to help. So another thing that I found was really cool here is there are a bunch of different bait shops where they sell really cool fishing equipment like fishing poles tackle boxes full of tackle sets um, i think on the other side of the island there's like a, a little beach as well so fishing is pretty prominent here um and even in some parts of the of venice you could actually see the fish they come to the surface um and you can feed them but i have yet to see one person to fish